that if these games were having such profound effects on children, we would expect, for instance, to see a rise in violent crime in society. Um, gaming is huge. You know, there are more young people who play games than who don't now, and a, a reasonable proportion of those games are fairly violent. We don't see any associated increase in violent crime. Um, if you look at the short-term increases, and I think this, this is one area that, that I'm particularly interested in because research has, has generally failed to show that there are any long-term serious consequences of playing violent games. There are short-term consequences, and it would be incredibly strange if there weren't. I mean, the whole point of a game is, is it should create emotions in you. You should want to carry on playing, and game designers know this very well. So if their games didn't produce emotions in us, then we wouldn't play them. And those emotions, of course, can be very varied. Uh, but one of them is likely to be uh, the desire to conquer whatever enemies you, uh, are placed in front of you, i.e. aggression. Um, so the, there are definitely skills that people pick up. I mean, if you are a, a guild leader or a raid leader in a game like World of Warcraft, this, this requires a high level of coordination and diplomacy and planning and very uh, sort of intelligent people find this a, a, an extremely enjoyable task to do. Um, they've got a very simplistic view. They, they like to look for a single cause. This, this is easy and it's comforting for people if we think that some um, atrocity has a simple explanation, then we understand it and that makes us feel comfortable. What I would find very intriguing would be if these people didn't play video games, because yeah. that would make them unusual, that would make them statistically rare, particularly when you consider that a lot of these events are generally young men, adolescent boys. Um, for one of those to, to not be a video game player, that would be somewhat unusual. We looked at this, we looked at um, all of the evidence on school shooters a few years ago, and what we found is that when you compare uh, people like chaps who, who carried out the Columbine massacre, they look a lot like adult mass murderers as well, uh, in as much as they uh, generally come from fairly poor upbringings in terms of the parental support, they're often single parent families, um, they suffer from usually fairly major psychiatric illnesses, they have significant disappointments in their lives.